what's up guys how you doing we're gonna jump in here uh, record a video for the app yap advanced guide show you guys how to play app yap to uh, high champion level it's like we're gonna be facing up against Jura on Badlands Yeah, that's a great leader and a fun leader to play as. Here we got Titan. So usually what you want to do with Yap Yap, uh, you've got all this fodder. So you have five starting fodder. You want to send that all over the map uh, immediately to collect as many resources as possible. I generally open Chopper. Uh, the Chopper allows me to be very aggressive early on and control all of the power locations, essentially. Um, so what we tend to do here with Yap Yap, Triple Harvester usually as well, especially with this amount of minis on the map. We normally send a fodder to one bundle of power and a chopper to the power on the opponent's side. What happens here is the chopper can usually kill the grunt or marine that is on this power. And you normally drop your mine uh, on the other power bundle that you're gathering with your fodder. That way you deny both from your opponent and they can't actually collect them, which is gonna put you at such an advantage early on in the game here. Just make sure you don't just lose sight uh, on your micro with the fodder. You've got to keep them moving, collecting resources so you don't fall behind in the game. If you can, you should have some free time early on. Um, and you can queue up these units to take different resource bundles by using RT and then X on different resource bundles on console. But he's going to send a jackrabbit to my power. I've collected all of his power, so I'm going to send the chopper back to deal with that. I went double gen because it allows you to go double gen with Yap Yap when controlling all the power like that. People usually get scared and overbuy on minis because the, they don't want to uh, lose the minis to a Yap Yap. That's one of the big quirks uh, of the leader. We're just going to wiggle away from the jackrabbit. We don't want to take many shots. And there you go, the mine has worked perfectly. He sent another jackrabbit to the mine. So losing two jackrabbits in two minutes here, uh, very costly for him. This is going to allow me to pick up basically every single mini base on the map and still stay ahead of my opponent. Let me grab that one as well. Because now we just have full map control with all of the fodder. He lost two jackrabbits, he's going to be really far behind. Now, when you get to this stage, your second leader point, there is various options you can do uh, as you have Piep. So he has picked up one mini base. I generally like to go into double mine, um, especially when I'm playing chopper. So upgrading all of our pads on our base here, just because we already have two upgraded gens, uh, we have all the minis, we have a lot of map control, uh, we don't see a rush from the opponent, but probably should have scouted a 30 seconds earlier than we're going to do. We're just going to build some grunt riders to clean out his mini and take map control. Otherwise, two is always about... Or any artist really putting yourself in the best possible position you can so notice he has two upgraded gens two upgraded supply pads so he's trying to make up for losing the minis his economy is still going to be worse off by upgrading that but it's not going to be really extremely far away he's going to try and pick up an expansion because he lost all the minis he needs to do something to get back in the game he needs those pad slots the moment is four mini bases to one, and I uh, should be cleaning this out as well. He upgraded this one as well. And he does have a Jerome hero on the way out. Jerome is very good at dealing with choppers. We, luckily, we hit the mines there. We're just going to sit on them, get our fodder uh, to take them down so we don't actually, we don't actually lose out, lose any choppers. 
Can't get my words out at the moment. I readjust that rally point to the base over here. Not wanting to get this up, we got to deny this as quickly as possible, and we're going to go tech two now as well. Don't see his hero yet, but I did drop mines on the ledge uh, where he's going to come down from. See if I can get a mine hit on him and pick him off with the choppers. I'm just going to clean up all of these marines. A huge advantage. Swap this to a raid camp. Pick up our expansion now as well. So the ground is coming down. We can send some scouts to the main. I could double base here. I'm in such a huge advantage. Go always put yourself ahead if you have a lead like this. Just make sure he's not taking the other expansion. I'm gonna put a scout on there as well. All these choppers here. Pre-split because I know I'm fair point. He uh, he will have enduring salvo, so I don't want to be caught not looking and just lose a bunch of units. Here's Dragoro. I'm leading now. He did walk walk into the mines. I'll walk into it again. Not gonna come in for the kill before he gets his shield back. Did get the madness drop off. I might need to just ram the Mantis to death now so he doesn't jump in it. It's unfortunate. And we went Shade Turret Drop instead of Beam because I already knew I'd be able to kill the hero without the Beam. I went shades her it drop just to boost my leader points uh, and help me put some damage in on this base. Seems fast, we're gonna get our heroes. And we're so far ahead, we're just gonna build some more building killers. Clean out his turrets. Split out of that. And while we'll push it like this, we're just gonna go grunts from above. Why not? Start upgrading our eco. You can retarget the share drops as well just by clicking on them and clicking something else. No, we need the choppers around here to deal with these marines while the grunt riders take out the turrets. I'll keep those grunt riders alive, and if that's unfortunate, Jerome's gonna come out. I think we'll be able to kill him, but we do have um, a methane wagon here debuffing him, so it's possible. So we did manage to kill him. The explosion on the methane wagon actually took him down, which is good for us. This game is pretty much over. We're just going to take the full map. Make sure you can't do anything to get back in the game, anything crazy. Best thing you can do is save it for a mega team. Uh, but it's not he won't be able to afford it. We are on fifth point yet. I'm ahead of him on leader points just because of all the damage I've done. There's just nothing he can do now except press the resign button. 